In this episode of the Easy Stress Cure Show, you're going to learn a simple, effective method to calm anxiety and release stress. This technique is called the frontal occipital hold, and it is also known as the calming head hold. Welcome to the Easy Stress Cure Show, where we share easy and effective mind-body techniques so you can enjoy less stress, greater ease, and better emotional and physical well-being. Stephen Carter here, CEO for Stress Solutions, LLC. At Stress Solutions, we help people let go of stress and create lives of success using holistic methods while they just work. This podcast is part of that mission. Learn more about Stress Solutions, LLC, by visiting our website at eft-md.com, eft-md.com. There are multiple methods for calming mind and body. The technique I'll share in this episode is known as the frontal occipital hold. You'll also hear it referred to as the calming head hold. Why does this work? During times of high stress, our bodies experience major physical changes, commonly referred to as the fight or flight response. Some of these changes include reduced blood flow to certain brain regions to include the prefrontal cortex, where our normal day-to-day rational thinking happens. The effect of this physical change in blood flow means we become less able to think rationally. Our bodies are poised for fight or flight. And when that happens... There is not a lot of need for rational thinking. The fight-or-flight reaction has served humans well during our evolution. When the dangers faced by our ancestors arose from animals of prey, who were keen to kill and eat those ancestors? Most stress-induced situations today are caused by our thoughts. Someone cuts us off in traffic, Someone insults us. Someone writes something caustic in an email. All of these types of events can trigger the fight-or-flight response. Likewise, our imagination of events that haven't even happened can have the same effects. Your thoughts create the movies in your mind, and the primitive fight-or-flight response follows immediately. Rationally, we know these sorts of events are not physically threatening. In the same way, a predatory animal threatened our ancestors. Yet, the way the brain is wired means that same primitive fight-or-flight response is likely to kick in. One way to slow down and reverse the fight-or-flight response is is to return normal blood flow to the prefrontal cortex so you and I can assess a given situation more rationally. The frontal occipital hold is a great way to do exactly that. This technique is easy and it's effective. You can apply the frontal occipital hold while seated, standing, or laying down. Step one. Place one hand with the palm facing your forehead. Place the palm on your forehead. You can use either the right or left hand. Your touch should be moderately firm but gentle. There's no need to exert physical pressure beyond what's needed to keep that hand in place. Step two, place the other hand on the back of your head. Again, use the amount of pressure needed to keep that hand in place. Step three, hold both hands in place for two to three minutes. Breathe slowly and deeply, but do breathe gently. Simply maintain awareness of the felt sense of your hands and your breathing. If you notice either arm getting fatigued, You can drop your hands and shake your arms out. 
You can also reverse the hands anytime you like. As soon as you've shaken your hands out, return your hands to the frontal occipital hold position. As you maintain that frontal occipital hold, you're likely going to notice a progressive calming of mind and body over the two to three minutes that you maintain that hold. You can, of course, maintain the position for longer periods if you choose to do that. Once you regain a calmer state of mind, you'll be better able to apply rational thinking to assess your situation and then determine what action, if any, is in order. If you have questions or you would like to share a comment about this or any other episode of Easy Stress Cures, please do email me at cartermethod at gmail.com. And if you found this information helpful, I encourage you to share it with a friend or more than one friend or share it to social media. Our goal is to create a calmer, happier world and techniques like the frontal occipital hold can help us achieve that goal. Remember to subscribe to or follow the Easy Stress Cure Show where you get your podcasts. Until our next visit, Stephen Carter here, and I wish you and yours blessings in abundance. <music>